Amelia Luis and I'm an architect practicing here in the US. I'm originally from the Philippines. I've always wanted to be an architect, even back when I was in first grade. I remember one of my teachers asking me what we wanted to be when we grow up. And without hesitation, I've answered an architect. And then 16 years later, that's exactly what I have become. I studied architecture at the University of Santo Tomas. I graduated in 1995 with a bachelor's of science degree in architecture, cum laude. During that time, I remember one of our professors talking about Frank Lloyd Wright, or we studied about Frank Lloyd Wright and some of the masters in architecture. And that's when I first heard about Taliesin. My friend said, oh, why not join Taliesin? It's Frank Lloyd Wright's school and located in Arizona and in Wisconsin. So I sent my application and I decided, oh, okay, if I get accepted, I'm going to be joining this uh, unique laboratory of Frank Lloyd Wright. So in 1997, my application was accepted, so I entered the Frank Lloyd Wright School of Architecture in that year. During that time, I've always been dabbling with technology or computers. I've always been fascinated with how computers or how technology is integrated with the whole design process in architecture. And now that there is this new technology, what we call the building information modeling that allows us to think in three dimensions, I believe that it further streamlines everything in the design process of an architectural project. I use BIM technology in every project that I do, or in every architectural project that I do. One of my most recent projects was the portable transient shelter pods intended for the homeless or the tsunami victims in Asia. And I remember utilizing building information modeling in developing the design concept from schematic design development until the preparation of the presentation drawings. The advantages of using this technology is it allowed me to really think through the space and design the space according to how the end users will be using it. I'm also able to discuss or I'm also able to explore the height limitations and just the overall experience of what it's like to be in that space because it allows me to do or to create walkthroughs and you know it allows me to design the whole building really literally having a virtual building even way before the model or a prototype model has been developed. So I believe this is the way most architectural projects will be going in, you know, in this direction. And I think that architectural design or the design process is going to be influenced further by the utilization of parametric modeling. I believe that um, if we are not utilizing this technology now or we're not heading in this direction, then we are going to be left behind. As far as um, architecture students in the Philippines, I would suggest that we explore or you train yourselves in utilizing parametric modeling because most of the world now, especially in the U.S., the practice of architecture in the U.S. utilizes parametric modeling.